Welcome to Magical Mix Kids and our exciting trip to Walt Disney World. Getting there is half the fun, and that can be true even when you're headed to the most magical place on earth. Traveling with Magical Mix Kids presents a unique opportunity. Even if you've traveled a lot, traveling with a group of 80 people, many of them children with special needs, requires an extra measure of patience and flexibility. Once we're at Disney World, it's your family trip to enjoy by doing whatever you want to do. Travel days, though, require that all of us stick together as a group. First, plan to wear your Magical Mix Kids t-shirt for travel day. Chaperones will wear red polo shirts with a Magical Mix Kids logo. This makes it easy for all of us to know who we are, and yes, it does attract some attention in the airports. You'll meet bright and early at an assigned departure location in the Cedar Valley. Please be on time. We only allow 30 minutes to get the entire group checked in, load the luggage, and board the buses. That's just a few minutes per family, so being on time is a must. When you get there, you'll see tables set up in the parking lot with some familiar chaperones, maybe sleepy, but smiling and waiting to greet you. If it's raining that morning, look for them in the closest covered location. Bring your entire family and all of your luggage to the table for check-in. Each person may have one bag to check and one bag to carry on. Everyone receives a name tag, then we weigh your bags to make sure they're under the weight limit, direct you to an assigned bus, and help you load the luggage on that bus. The luggage to be checked in will be loaded under the bus. You have the choice to load your carry-on bags or have them on the bus with you. You'll be on the bus with your assigned chaperone who will be sitting in one of the first few rows. When you board the bus, find seats for your entire family and make yourselves comfortable. The bus trip to our departure airport could take up to four hours. We'll have Disney movies to watch on the way. Think about what you'll take to keep everyone occupied throughout this travel time. Books, colors, small toys, there is a bathroom on the bus. During the drive, chaperones will hand out meals and or snacks. You can take food through the airport security, but not liquids. So if you're not hungry or don't eat everything, pack it in your carry-on and take it with you. It's a long travel day. You may want it later. When we arrive at the airport, you'll stay on the bus. Chaperones will get off to find out the specifics about our unloading location. This is part of what makes the trip enjoyable for you. Chaperones take care of all the logistics. You get to sit back and simply wait for the instructions. One word of warning that you should take seriously. Once we're at the airport, security is no laughing matter. It is a federal offense to say anything about explosives, guns, hijacking, or the like. If you do that, you'll likely not be allowed to board the plane with us. When you get off the bus to check in at the airport, find your chaperone and retrieve all of your family's luggage. Enter the airport together with your chaperone and proceed to the check-in line. Airlines require each person to check in with their own luggage and identify it for security reasons. At this point, you'll have to show a government-issued ID. That's a driver's license or passport. Anyone in your family who is 18 and older needs one. An expired ID will not be accepted, so make sure yours is current. One adult in the family should hang on to all of the boarding passes. Please do not let your children have them. Keep those boarding passes and photo IDs close at hand because you'll need them again soon. After check-in, move with your chaperone to security. Lines can get long, so you just need to relax and be patient. Those with wheelchairs and some strollers may be directed to a separate line. You'll be asked to take off your shoes and put them in a plastic bin along with other items like your carry-on, laptops or tablets, and cameras. They'll go through an x-ray machine while you walk through a scanner for body screening. Follow any instructions that you're given by the Transportation Security Administration staff. Some of us might be pulled aside for a more thorough search. If that's the case, just relax and be pleasant. It makes the process easier. Remember, it is the TSA's job to keep us all safe. Once your family is through the security screening, find your chaperone. Chaperones. We'll wait for everyone and move together to our departure gate. At that point, you'll likely have time to use the restrooms, visit gift shops, or make a purchase, or just simply relax. When boarding begins, you'll need to show boarding passes, but no photo IDs. Those with wheelchairs or strollers will check in first. The rest of us will wait for the gate attendant to announce when it's our time to board. When you're on the plane, find your seats and help the children get settled in. There will be overhead bins for carry-on luggage. You can also store a bag under the seat in front of you if it's small enough and you'll want to have some items closer at hand like books, electronic devices, chewing gum, or snacks. Flight attendants will offer beverage service during the flight and perhaps a small snack like pretzels. Usually water, juice, and pop are free, but we can't guarantee this. 
When we land, again listen for the instructions and don't get out of your seatbelt until the plane is stopped at the gate. Those who do not need assistance will get off first. Again, meet up with your chaperone. Sometimes it takes a while for the wheelchairs and strollers to be brought out. We will wait for everyone to be off the plane before moving toward the baggage claim. That's where you'll pick up all of your luggage and we'll move on again as a group to the buses that will take us to Disney World. We will again color code the buses red and blue, so be sure to board the bus that you're assigned to along with your luggage. We are almost there. When we arrive at the Disney Resort, your chaperone will make sure you have everything you need, including room keys and wristbands for access to all the parks and your meals. Take a little time to figure out the lay of the land at the resort. Find the food court, the pool, the boat ramp, gift shop, and the bus stops. Take in all of the magic. You're going to have the time of your life at Disney World.